Come on. Come on. We're sorting this out today. I'm sick of it. Sorting what? We're, we're remapping the car. What? We're remapping the car now. <laughs> Right, I'm going to boost leak test this while he's sorting the laptop stuff out. So here we go, boost leak tests. Oh, and booster development. Jamie, top man. So you say there's no leaks in it, eh? Uh, I say there's no leaks. Can't hear anything, eh? There's too many joins, man. Is there? Aye. I mean, have, you, have you got the first leak-free 18T in history? There's tons of pressure in there. It would help if I had a gear to have more. Sticking three bar in it. <laughs> <laughs> I told him three bar though. So. <laughs> I'll call that leak free, me like. On to the next phase. So here we are, <laughs> eventually remapping Spencer's car. It's By a, force. <laughs> it's only been a little while, honest. Forced. <laughs> What's in the t shirt? What's that? Boosted developments. My favourite Honda. British YouTuber, massive big turbo Hondas. Check him out, Boosted Developments on YouTube. He's a good guy. It's quite the show about that, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, like, I've not even seen his channel. This well, is, you've heard is, us twittering about it. Spencer's little secret. <laughs> <laughs> what, that I like big turbo Hondas? That's it, oh yeah. Oh no, people are gonna dislike us now, aren't they? No, no, <laughs> we're gonna have to make big power and then uh, keep everyone happy. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna have to do uh, obviously, we'll boost leak tested the car. We'll read the codes with VCDS, and I think we'll also go out and get a baseline log for airflow. Make sure there's no timing pole. Just make sure it's happy, you know, before we start upping things. And even when we do up things, um, I think we'll do it in stages. It's not just going to be a flash some crap map on. Christ, we'll be like a flash and dash. Uh, mm. Flash mappers, then, wouldn't we? Uh, we'll take it up in stages. So I think we'll we'll sort the fuel in out run it make sure that it's seeing the fueling that we think it should be uh, and then we'll start increasing the boost and and the timing and what have you just make sure it's all nice and safe do it in stages so first thing we'll get out and we'll get a, a baseline log yeah that's it good there we go so 100 percent throttle pedal all through, jumps into the 0.953 table S, that's following it nicely. Fueling looks good, load looks good. Boost in and around the 0.8 of a bar, which is completely standard, happy with that. All right, let's have a look at the airflow, let's see what the uh, airflow. Airflow peak at about 180 there, so 180. Divided by 0.8225. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Standard power. Who would have thought? So the MUF is reading that 180 GS, which translates to 225 perfectly, using the 0.8. I mean, I know it's ish, but it's a bit mad how it came exactly 225 there, isn't it? So, as well, you remember this is a 1.9 exhaust intercooler, oversized tip. You know, all your, you know, forged, whatever, not that forged makes you go faster. And it still does 225 on a standard map. Yeah, well it, just, it just does what it's programmed to do. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Uh, and then we'll have a look, timing pole, absolutely no timing pole whatsoever. So it's sitting nice and healthy. Lambda's following perfectly. I'm pretty happy. That's cool. So. I think we'll just pull up somewhere, we'll get the battery regulator on and and then we'll flash this uh, new file on. Now the first one is just going to be fueling, so we'll try and get the fueling cock on because uh, that might take a little bit of fettling because of the 1.9, who knows, we'll just have a lot of... Have a lot of <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to have a look at the fueling trims uh, and adjust accordingly and then after that we'll do the, t the boost and all the rest of it. So, let's go. Sweet. Right, so that's the first flash on now, um, and literally the only thing I've done on this map is uh, basically riching up 
uh, the fueling on the lamfa table and the uh, component protection per table, so KFL BDS. Uh, and I've also done all of the little ME 7.5 sort of delete torque intervention problems, so like KF. L, D, U, L, whatever it is, all the problems uh, that you have when you raise the boost, um, I've deleted all them. I'm not going to go into massive detail about it because let's face it, it would just start getting boring. But there's loads of stuff that you have to do, uh, there's loads of maps that you have to uh, change. But the, the main one that we've done on this is the fueling table. So we'll get out, we'll log it again, and the fueling we should see is richer on boost. Uh, nothing else should change because I haven't changed anything else. So when you're ready, sir, let's do this. Yeah. Go for it. Logging on. while Spence is slowing down there. The only thing that I thought was going to change there was the fueling, uh, the requested and the, the actual, and it is, it's changed, so now it's dropping to, I'm um, requesting the point eight one, which is what I've got in the Lampa table, so that's spot on. Um, if it was going to get any hotter, then it would jump straight into the KFL BTS table, um, and it would go probably a little bit more richer. But that's pretty good, like that. Obviously, more power needs more fuel, so it's good to see how the car's doing it. So now I think we'll have a little pullover and we'll uh, see about getting some timing into it. Right, so I've just been playing with that now, and I've actually ended up doing the timing and the boost at the same time because it's pushing on a bit. And this is stage one type stuff, so we shouldn't really run into any problems. These are actually um, values that I've used before, so again, shouldn't really have any problems. Um, so if we look straight away at uh, boost, obviously boost in ME 7.5 is controlled by load. So you don't specify boost, you specify uh, engine load or you know cylinder fill, cylinder uh, capacity fill. Um, and there's a rough translation that I use and that is that the boost that I want, max boost, is going to be about 1.4 bar so on this map. I just looked and that's 20 psi. 20 psi, so we're game 20 or just over PSI, which is pretty tame to be honest for a KO4. It, it can be pushed more, which I think we will, but uh, that 20 PSI, 1.4 bar, uh, using the calculation, comes at about 200% load here, and then I've just made a nice sort of straight line. So the boost should come in nice and linear based on RPM. Spencer just putting the windows up. <laughs> low coolant, uh, low wash off fluid, not coolant. No, no, no. So this is a more linear, a more safe, and hopefully a more manageable rod bender map and it's going back on the car from where it came in the first place <laughs> from the car where <laughs> that, 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 that it bent the rod on so I'll export this, we'll get it on the car and then we'll get out again Timmy, hmm? black or white? what do you think? Uh, white I would say yeah? white I would say stickers for these calibers not the ones that's on, new ones Mark 4 Golf, big brakes coming soon! Yeah, bro! <laughs> Got too many cables here, man. <laughs> right, fire up MPPS. Ignition on, Walkhead. On, zero. Ooh, are you excited? Yes. Right, we're gonna write Spence stage one. Rod bender repair. It'll be really cool this, I think. It'll be good. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm confident in it. I haven't tested it on the car yet, obviously, but it's nice that it's going back on the same setup, isn't it? I wish we had more time. It always just takes forever, this does. Uh, busy life. Spence been decorating. <laughs> <laughs> the dreaded gloss. 
hate Glossen. Like, oh, it's awful. It's the worst. Well, she bought some really nice water-based, uh, quick-drying stuff, and then took a picture of it, and went to get the same stuff again, and came back with something completely different. That is not water-based, <laughs> and is like oil gloss from the 70s. <laughs> that arrives your lungs to pieces. I was going to say, it'll, it'll be killing you as you paint. Uh, the lead. <laughs> it's old stock. New, uh, uh, new old stock yeah, paint from yeah. the 70s. <laughs> You've got to give it a good stir. You know, get the lead in the... In the, in the, the raw... What, what's oil? When it comes out the ground, what's it called? Oh, like hydrocarbon. No, no, yeah. raw oil when it first comes out the ground. It's. I should know this. I yeah, did. I, I did know. work in the industry. <laughs> Why does it come out of my head? Ah, it's five forty or something. <laughs> <laughs> Mineral oil. <laughs> <laughs> Mad, isn't it? They just chuck lead in all sorts, didn't they? Fuel. Ah, yeah. there's a bit knock, chuck lead in. Sorts everything, man. <laughs> Except your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Crude oil! Crude oil, that's it. Crude. Crude. It's hot again. Oh. I, I, I never drilled, I just told them where to drill, so nah. I didn't know. Right. Key off. What are them doing in that car parked up? No. Oh. I think I'll ring the police. Yeah. <laughs> Remapping me car. Key back on, mate. Those two hoodlagans looked up to no good. But you've got a cap on, so you're guilty instantly. That's it. I'm baldy, I'll get away with it. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Two old creeps! What, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Two old creeps. That's it! Standing by the side of the road. <laughs> oh, man. I actually leave the hat on, it, it, it makes me look younger. I'm gonna think of it. Aye. It's not your dog on us, isn't it? <laughs> Sunday afternoon. Right. It's on. Fuse. Turn ignition off. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, get your fuses in. Let's go for a drive. It starts again. It's always a good sign. Squeaky start, I'm on as it now. Yeah, it's all can be fixed that. Nice empty road. Logging L chap, logging. but then then sat at 24 you know like went over then pulled back to 20 yeah. I don't know if you can see that in the car. <laughs> oh did you hear that on come yeah. on oh, oh. Uh, yeah well, the, the timing map's got a little bit of negative timing in there so, get, a, get a little bit of puppy puppy. Nice. I haven't, I haven't adjusted the minimum timing map, so it'll not be too much. But yeah, there's definitely a little bit in there. This is just the stage one. All right. When stage two? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you all of a sudden got some time? <laughs> <laughs> I 
that's better. That's better. <laughs> Is he happy, Spencer? I'm happy. Right. Load just under 200, which suggests that it's about 250 horse. Which is what we'd expect for stage one. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> and it pulls. <laughs> pulls strong, bro. Very, very good. Pulls really good, actually, there. Yeah. yeah. Tickle up the bank, eh? What the fuck was that? What the shit? Hey, pull over, pull over, pull over. Pull over. Pull over. <laughs> Watch out, the fucking dog bone mount. <laughs> well, this one didn't end well, did it? Stage one remap. Snap the clean off, haven't you? I've it's a little bit out of place, like, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Stage one remap. <laughs> <laughs> Broken the car again. So the remap's good. The car's running mint, but the dog bone doesn't like it. No. <laughs> That's tuning cars, boys and girls. Thanks for watching. So the stage one remap worked, looking really good, but you might have just destroyed your t-shirt. Oh, is this? Let's have a look. Ooh. What do you reckon? I don't. Know. I think. I think if he was any good uh, YouTuber, he'd give you. 100 out of 10 for effort and he'd send you a new one. <laughs> Unstained. Unstained, I. Oh, I, only, I put it on because I thought, nice clean day, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Lying under the car in the jack. Oh, yeah. You know what you should have done, Spence? Well, you should have brought it over. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>